Mrs. Angelili. Mr. Stadler, please. For colleague in Mrs. Angelili, if the uh, international community should take on its, its responsibility, then you should name and shame the countries uh, that have been firing up this conflict from without. Saudi Arabia, Qatar and the Emirates. They have been provided huge financial resources to send weapons to Syria. This isn't mentioned once in this resolution. Not a single word. So that's where I think that there is a, a major gap. Okay, you've got uh, uh, Clause 8 there in the resolution where it's kind of hinted at, but we are paying the costs for all of these weapons that are being delivered to Syria, which are producing violence and refugees. This isn't mentioned once, and for me, I think that this is a bit of a wishy-washy document. It doesn't really mean very much. All it means is that European countries are going to be able, are going to be paying for conflicts that other people are uh, heating up from the outside. I don't think it's fair to the European taxpayer. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mrs. Lubitschewa. Thank you very much, President. I have voted in favour of this resolution because I feel that it uh, is an important step forward uh, when dealing with this problem of the influx of uh, refugees from Syria. This, of course, was adopted after the